y'all. Welcome to the first video of the Oodles of Brutals era. We are keeping the party going. Today is a celebration, and we are celebrating 25 years of Mortician's House by the Cemetery EP. A mortician was formed in 1988 in Yonkers, New York, under the name Casket. However, they quickly changed their name to Mortician after writing their first song, Mortician. Uh, which was based on the movie Phantasm. The band released two demos and two EPs. Uh, the demos and the first EP drew the attention of Relapse Records, who signed them for Mortal Massacre, and then also went on to release House by the Cemetery on July 3rd, 1995. By the time of House by the Cemetery, Mortician's lineup had solidified into the core duo of vocalist, bassist Will Romer and guitarist slash programmer Roger Bujard. House by the Cemetery was the first Mortician release to feature the drum machine, which has become a key part of their sound over the years. In many ways, House by the Cemetery defined the sound that Mortician had become known for. Here we had the duo lineup, the horror samples, the drum machine set to liquefy, uh, the bass tone from hell that just sounds grimy and filthy as all get out, the downtuned guitar whipping off punishing riff after punishing caveman riff. All the signatures of Mortician sound were present and accounted for throughout the EP's five tracks. Although Mortician were initially inspired by Phantasm, House by the Cemetery was inspired by a Lucio Fulci film from 1981. And if you've never seen the film House by the Cemetery, you're missing out on a gory, gruesome cult classic that deserves your attention just as much as Mortician's discography does. Mortician would go on to release their debut full-length Hacked Up for Barbecue in 1996, but it was here on House by the Cemetery that the sound that made them infamous in the death metal underground was first fully defined. Overall, one could argue that House by the Cemetery is one of the most influential death metal EPs of all time. Its sound can still be heard echoing throughout the brutal death metal and slam scenes to this day, having influenced bands such as Volvectomy, Fluids, and Incinerated. And that wraps it up for our celebration of Mortician's House by the Cemetery. The heaviest band on the planet. The only band heavy enough to hang out with. Barack Lester! If you haven't had a chance to ever check these guys out, I recommend starting here and working your way through their discography. Because this is the EP that solidified Mortician's sound as we know it today. Thanks for watching guys and take care. <laughs>